lumber company, however, was willing to part with land since they had cut down all the trees, but only if George Fraser would also agree to buy this adjacent hillside here. And he agreed with the idea of building himself a tool shed at the top of the hill. But after George Fraser had built or bought the land, the lumber company told him that he actually shouldn't build anything at the top of this hill. Because as it turns out, they had tried to multiple times. And every single building had ended up breaking off its foundations, sliding all the way down this hill and getting destroyed in the process. George Prather didn't give up. He came up with a brilliant solution to this problem. And George Prather's solution was to just ignore the lumber company's warnings. And instead, he sent out a group of surveyors to survey this hillside. These surveyors noticed it. I'm gonna raise it. One can tell me when it reaches the top of her head, but over here. Top of her head. Top of her head. Is it reaching her head? Got to go higher or lower? Right there. Is the level? Is the level with her head? Yes. Is that about it? Higher or lower? <laughs> That's top of her head. That's only about an inch or two taller. But if you two switch sides. Oh no, I'm going to Oh, come on again. Once again, come over this level, reaches the top of her head, right over here. Right there, Mark. Look at the other ladies. Look at the other ladies. Right there, right there. Go for it. So, right about there. So, before you were two inches taller. Now you're about six inches shorter. It's an eight inch difference across a half inch surface, means you've grown by almost four feet. How does this feel? Great. Feels great, right? This also means you're sorry, you have shrunk yeah. by four inches. I feel bad though, don't worry. There's a way to regain your height. Uh, there's actually an invention created back in the Middle Ages. I do consider it a torture device. Uh, would you like to know what it's called anyway? It's called high heels. Uh, but everyone gets a big round of applause. You guys are good to go in back. Those foundations, just like George Fraser was warned, it started to slide on down. But the cabin stopped right here. Anyone have a guess as to why the cabin stopped right here? What was that? The tree! The tree! That's completely wrong. <laughs> that right there is a redwood. Maybe just a small hamster who's running as fast as he can with his tiny feet. Uh, to which I'll actually take out my water. Because if I put something inside my water, like a weight, a magnet, motor, or a small, probably drowning hamster, you would be able to see it. I'm going to take my water. I'm going to put it inside the board. And we will notice that water should, given time, pour right on uphill. Even weirder though, folks. It's no longer even water. It's turned into... Drinking water. Vodka. <laughs> I am kidding about that one. Does anybody here about six now, foot tall? Anybody think that the board right now is no, made in... How tall are you? <laughs> six feet. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't believe that. Come on there. Yeah. <laughs> clear the bench. No, I'll just get you down. Clear the bench. You stand right at the end for me. Uh, anyone about five foot ten? Maybe five nine. 